Hey y'all, the Little Power Ranger here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm reviewing the 4 inch Power Ranger Samurai figures, the regular mode. Um, so they look great as a group. This is the first time I've actually posed them as a group, and I am absolutely in love. I have not had a full set of Samurai Rangers ever. Not a thing about it, ever. Um, except for the Mega Mode, but I got those roughly at the same time I got these, so it kind of balances out. Um, Anyways, um, let's start going over the figures one by one. Um, we'll start from the left and work our way to the right. So, so starting with the Pink Ranger Mia here. Um, issue of note, by the way, with all these samurai figures, um, is this piece right here. Um, actually, I have two separated. So this is the one. It comes with the Mega Mode Rangers, and this is the one they use for everything except these figures. I don't know why they did that, but the the mold of these holes are different for the guys and girls. They're smaller on the girls, so you cannot put this in here. And then these are also, I don't know why they did that, because in the Mega Mode figures, which released before these, that was not an issue. I could interchange those all I wanted. Um, I don't get why that happened, so now um, only one of my girl figures can plug in the sword properly, and neither of them can have the samurai in the belt, and that's pretty upsetting. I don't know why that happened, but there's not really anything I can do about it. So if you were trying to buy these on eBay like I did, um, please note that, because I did not know that going into this. So she's supposed to come with a samurai as a bear. And, um, she has the spin sword there attached to that. Um, let's go over articulation. It is the same as the Mega Mode figures, but whatever. Um, ball joint at the head. Full swivel at, at the shoulder, unlike the Mega Mode figures, which was restricted due to the shoulder pad. Um, just right there. And full swivel here. Um, the, the leg articulation is, um... Hindered by the skirt, but the guy figures do not have that problem. So it can only really go that much. It only, can only really go that much. Like I said, the guy figures here don't have that issue. Um, bend at the knee. Then, whatever you want to call that. I forgot. Swivel at the um, boot. So I'm getting distracted by this glitter on there. You can see that. It's not supposed to be there. Shoot. And then, same problem as the Mega Mode figures with the girl's feet. Too small. In fact, with these, they made them high heels. I have no idea why they would ever do that. Um, the Power Rangers do not have high heels on. How are they supposed to fight monsters and shit? Oh, excuse my language, but... How are they supposed, how are they supposed to fight monsters with high heels on? Like, come on now. Um, so, that is making them a little troubling to stand. But there is workarounds, of course. And here is her weapon. Um, this is not in the show. Um, basically, what they did for these figures is give them the individual weapons, but like upgrades. Because Jaden needed one, so he can get both versions of the spot Fire Smash. So they decided to give them the, the um, other figures that too. So that's here's this. Um, no, maybe um, yeah, this is like a monster. It's Something like that, I don't really know. So yeah, there's that. And then mine has this little QC issue here. Um, not, It's not the worst mistake, but it really bothers me. It'll bother me every time I notice it. Yeah, here's there's that. Then next up is Mike. Um, as I was saying with the belt thing, the guys don't have this issue at all, so... He's perfectly normal. Um, here's his spin sword, same as the other one. Um, of course, not as much detail as the SH Figuarts, but that's to be expected, and this is a fair... Um, actually, I'll get on that at the end. But here's his head sculpt. Um, same articulation as the girl, as other than the leg. Um, his special weapon is this, like, upgraded... 
um, four spear with five discs on it. So yeah, here's that. He can hold that just fine if you really want him to, just like that. And unlike the regular four spear, um, he can actually hold this one handed. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get these discs off or on, but this wasn't using the show, like I said with the other one. Um, only Jaden's was using the show, but there's a little funny story with mine. I'll share that. So yeah, there's that. And then I was not able to get Jaden's version, um, hit the blaster mode of his Fire Smasher, but I did accidentally get a second one because I was going to buy these Mega Mode figures from a different person than I did. But they didn't have the Fire Smasher, so I bought one. But when I ended up buying from someone who did have it, so I got I had two, so I turned this one into the gun mode. The only thing I'm missing is the whatever. And then um, paper got stuck to here due to my gluing process. And I painted it over red. I'm sure there's a little bit of black in the red when it happened, so it's a little dark. Um, not the greatest job, but I didn't think it was a work, honestly. I actually haven't seen how well he can hold it either. Um, so yeah, here's a little comparison we get. I turned this into that, basically. Um, with my unboxing knife and a pair of nail clippers. Um, so yeah, let me see how I can hold that, actually. I haven't seen this yet. Pretty much as well as he could hold the other one. So that's that's cool. I was able to do that. Um, yeah, maybe he's a gangster. He grew up in O-Block or something. So yeah, there's that. And of course, same spin sword as everyone else. Same guy mold. And then, well, I don't, actually, I guess he doesn't need to let go of it. I stay strapped in case um, the nylon come. There's his head sculpt. And then here's Kevin. Okay, what is doing that? It's you. That was really bothering me. Perfect. Okay. So he he has the same guy mold, of course. Here's his head sculpt. Um, I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Um. I don't really, this looks too fat, this symbol, I guess. Same spin sword as everyone else. Same articulation. And it fell out. Well, I guess you can see both sides now. There's that. And here's his weapon. Of the Here's his hydro bow variation. With the five discs. Again, couldn't get this disc out. But that's okay. Here's him holding it. Just like that. And maybe he is off some go block. An O block too. I don't know. There we go. Don't, don't do that. And then here's... Emily, um, with nothing, um, that doesn't really stay, I guess for the purposes of review I can steal from Mia, actually you can see the difference here, how much, just how much skinnier, it's the same, it's the same one, it's, they're both that, but, why did they do that? I really don't know. That was a really dumb decision. See, so yeah, there's that. Then, here's her special weapon here. I really don't know what you're going to do with this thing. Because you got to hold it on this side so you can be like... and Get you twice. I don't really know. Um... It's a really thick handle. Let's see here. She can even hold it. Did 
she can just barely hold it. So yeah, there's that. So that's my review on the Power of the Samurai 4-inch basic line figures. Um, overall, really good set. Highly recommend. Just be careful with those waist, um, with the belt troubles that I had. Um, and may the power protect you.